the biggest threats to the Niners, the NFC. They're playing the Dolphins this week. Great game. Not an NFC team. Um, eventually, if the Niners go to the playoffs, they're going to have to take down the best teams in the NFC or the ones that give them the biggest problems. Which team do you think is the toughest matchup for the Niners if they were to have to face them in the NFC Championship? Which mm. team or two? Well, for a person, I think the biggest threat is you to derail them and annoy them. For a team, it's probably <laughs> – for a team – no, honestly, I think the only team who's really going to give them a th- put, uh, an issue would probably be – you know what? The Eagles for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm banging the, I've been banging the wall on this for repeatedly. They're still the best. But mm. I think I'm going to start giving a little more respect to the Cowboys now. That's I know I the Niners say. summed them last year. I know. I know. Yeah, it's, that's what I was going to say. A little yeah, bit more. Dallas is kind of interesting. It more. I'm not, I'm not yeah. ready to say that they're better than the Niners yet because I think the Niners are still the more, you know, the more of the bully. But I think the, the Cowboys would be more prepared this year to take a couple body shots that they weren't able to handle last year. I don't know. I just, which is crazy considering they lost Amari Cooper, finesse player, which shocker. You lose the finesse players and you bring in more tough guys. It kind of like rounds it all out. Mm-hmm. Um, that defense is playing better than it did last year um and you got the niners who have been extremely inconsistent on offense they can't play right. better against the teams that aren't not the running the ball as well as they did last year there. if they're playing yeah. on the road again this year you know you don't have Debo playing anywhere near as he did which pretty much he carried the niners yeah. offense you don't know what you you're gonna get from elijah if he's gonna be there yeah you can't give him elijah i mean maybe mccaffrey yeah. gives you something Ayuk's playing yeah. better um but trayvon Dix has been a, a very still a stout corner out there um, which I think I think him and I go back and forth. I get some of him, but Diggs, but I think it's those two teams. But especially, like, I, I'm gonna go back to. I'm just gonna harp on my team, the Eagles. Like you mentioned, look, if he's gonna hit, if they're just gonna play single high and just play man coverage across the board, the Eagles can do that. They have the best secondary in the league. Yeah. They, they got nickel corner. Yeah. They got Robert Johnson or uh, Roby. Yeah. Cole, I forget his name. Um, C.J. Gardner Johnson is right. Yeah. Um, they got. They got Slay. Darius Slay. They got James Bradbury. Bradbury. Those guys yeah. can, look, he was going to get locked up because yeah. he's been getting locked up by solid corners and he can't do nothing. So imagine you have really yeah. good corners. Darius Slay and Ayuk would be an interesting battle. I think Ayuk yeah. can can push him. He can get something there. But then I don't think the windows are going to be too wide open enough for for a, a caliber quarterback like Jimmy to hit Gro- that, And they could probably cover Jawan Jennings too, who's frankly a, a web that you have to be able to cover Jawan Jennings. And linebackers who can do a yeah. decent enough job on Kittle. Um, it's going to look rough because the only way you're going to beat the Eagles if your offense, if your uh, running game is is efficient, which has and been the Niners very... have it, it's It's been inconsistent. So I'm with you on that. Let's go back to the, the Cowboys for a second. The Niners beat the Cowboys last year in the playoffs. Um, it was a pretty close game, and now the Niners' run game isn't as good as it was, and, and the, pa- the Cowboys have the best pass rush in the league. We were talking earlier about the Niners' offensive line and how it might be just a tad overrated. Well, um, if the Niners can't impose their will – with the run game like they did last year against the Cowboys and they have to, they have to pass. I don't know. I mean, the Niners have a good pass rush too, but yeah, that's a tough matchup for the Niners and they struggled with the saints. The Cowboys have a much better pass rush. And it's, it's, it's like a bunch of DNs that they put on the field. It's um, Parsons, uh, Dorrance Armstrong. Who else? They got uh, that Demarcus Lawrence. And there's one more guy. But anyway, they have a very quick, fast pass rush that could give the Niners problems. There's also yeah. the Vikings, and there's other teams too. But I, those teams have honestly, really good the Vikings are kind of a little bit of a fraud to me. I mean, I think they're a good team. They're not great. I think the Niners would, if the Niners played them, they could beat them. Well, Justin think. Jefferson's a problem. You could put him on Diamond. Oh yeah, he's gonna happens. he's gonna get his. He's gonna get yeah. his. You know that. Yes. Um, yes. But he's gonna get his two, three, four times. I mean, I mean, he still has to get the ball delivered from Kirk Cousins, who's you know. Glorified Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, we've really? seen him. We've seen him. He gets hit early. He folds. It's the same right, story, just like Jimmy. Same story, we just said the same story on Kirk. Yeah, man. It's really hard to say. We, I, for the last couple of years, I'm like, man, Kirk's better than Jimmy. I don't know. Yeah. No. And then the two times he's come to uh, Santa Clara, it's been the same thing. He gets hit. It's not too great. Although last year it was a close game. It was a close game. I mean, the only difference is Kirk will throw the ball down the field. But most quarterbacks in the NFL throw the ball down the field. Jimmy's the only one who's like, nah, I, I'm going to play an entire arm, season. Though, and he actually does kind of have that touch. Jimmy yeah. doesn't. Any other teams are missing? I mean, Seattle. I don't yeah. I, I don't view anyone else, to be honest. The mm. NFC stinks. I mean, I know that yeah. you have the NFC East with a lot of like NFC positive stinks, records. Which, God damn, who saw that coming? Um, uh, Washington does have a good – Washington isn't great. 
but they do have a good D-line and good pass rush. So, again, that's an interesting match. Any team that has a big D-line with two or three pass rushers is going to give the Niners offense is – a, is a rough matchup for the Niners offense. That's what they don't want. That's they what they don't want. Because Kansas City doesn't have much on their defense. They just have Chris Jones and Frank Clark, and that was enough to, make, to give the Niners problems. Yeah. But he's enough to hurt them. Who? But yeah, I just don't, I just don't view anyone else. Like, it's just pretty. Yeah. The Vikings are the only other good team, but I think the 49ers have the leg up on them. It's Ooh, really just one more, team. Have- one more team. 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 Tampa. No. Tampa. And we're going to see it next week because no. Tampa has a legit pass rush. Their defense still is really good. Their offense is so bad, man. It's so bad. But they got Tom Brady. It's hard to count them out. And their defense, I mean, Vita Villa, it's really a bad matchup for the Niners offensive line. Is his name not Vita Villa? It's Vita Vea. I said Vita Vea. It's Vita Vea. Vita Vea, I believe. I'm sorry. It's been the – Vita? It seems like. I'm sorry. No, I'm not Vita. taking the Bucks, man. After watching them, look, look, they did get some pressure. I watched that Browns game, Bucks game to the fullest. I was just like, how the hell did they lose to the Browns? I don't care if it was a road game for the Bucks. That was stinky. It's true. That was bad. Stinky. And then Brady, Brady, we, yeah. I was talking about touch a minute ago how Jimmy doesn't have it. Look, I think Brady and, and Jimmy right now have the same amount of touch now in terms of going downfield because Brady's missing Mike Evans like crazy. And it's not just that game. He missed Mike Evans like multiple times all season long. You know, they can barely – although that running back they have, Rashad White, he's sweet. He's pretty sweet. He that, might be a, that might be a problem. A lot better than uh, tight end's price. Yeah, um, yeah <laughs> just a little bit. They have um, talent on offense. They have a, a good defense. I don't yeah, understand it is the what defense the hell is going true, on there. But I, see, I, saw, I saw the Browns be able to – that's next up again. But yeah. The Niners are – they're supposed to be a good running team. That is their DNA. They should be able to kind of get into I think them. the Browns might have a better offensive line than the Niners. I mean, they've more invested in it. I could be wrong. I don't know. It's the Browns. Okay, I got – let's – let's. we got one more, and then we got to go because Kyle moved up his schedule today. God damn it, Kyle. Kyle. Whenever I think – hear people say Kyle, I think of Kyle, Cartman. Yes. Kyle. Kyle. Come on, Kyle. My cousin, he says – he says the Murray Atlanta, he was like – he was so pissed off. He's like – God damn it, Kyle! And the concourse all pissed because they lost. <laughs> That's hella funny. LOL, Scangarello got fired from his Kentucky job. Yeah, that is a big LOL. Not the greatest coach, I guess. Oh. Rams down this year and Niners. IO still struggling. IO. 7 and 4 or whatever. What are you talking about? Niners IO? I don't know. Offense? I don't know. No. I'm not struggling really sports support, though. Division. Uh, Niners O is weak link. Congrats, Kyle, reaching 500. Yeah, that's funny. He made it. <laughs> okay, good he troll. did it. 